Migrating children is a challenge for the whole family. If you're a parent, a sibling, a relative, you will know that it impacts your whole family in different ways. But before we jump into solutions on how we can cope as a family of a child with migraine, let's look at some challenges to look out for. First of all, every child responds differently to their pain, to their migraine, because they're all individuals and they have different pain coping abilities and different intensities of pain. Second, children and adolescents might want to hide their pain, so they don't want to openly share it with you, because what they want is to continue their day-to-day -day activities, while when they share about their pain, we might tell them to go and lie down. And number three, Overall, we have to look out for a child's emotional well-being as migraine impacts not only physical but also emotional well-being. And we know from studies that the rates of anxiety and depression are higher in young people with migraine. Number four is that you might see the family harmony disturbed because the disease might put a lot of pressure on your family, on all members of the family and create more stress and tension, leading to more arguments. At the same time, migraine impacts family time you might spend together because you have to go to doctor's appointments or even cancel on other family members and events. And finally, we have to look out for siblings. They might develop worries, but also anger and jealousy as you might be spending more time with the child who experiences migraine. There are three good strategies that can help to cope with migraine as a family. First one being maintaining family routines. The second one is having your social support network, your family support network. And the third one is parent well-being. Let's look at them in detail. First of all, you want to maintain family routines. It might be that you usually did a bike ride on Sundays or some more adventurous activity, which might not be possible if someone in the family lives with migraine. But you can replace those activities with relaxing activities. As soon as you create a certain pattern and habit where everybody in the family comes together, it can help to lift spirits, to f help everybody feel equally valuable, no matter if they live with migraine or not, and to overall strengthen family harmony. The second strategy is to build your social, your family support network, because you're not alone. You have family and friends around you. And well, the first step usually is to educate them about what migraine means and what it means to your child. The best thing there would be to also check with your child what they are comfortable with sharing with the family. But as you tell them more and more, as you share more and more about your child's situation and your own feelings, they will understand better. And then they probably offer help. And this is what is often hard for us, but this is where we have to accept the help because it's totally fine to have a helping hand, especially if migraine is in the family and poses a big challenge. The third and maybe most important strategy here is parent well-being. You are the most important person in your child's life. You are the biggest supporter. So if you look after yourself, you immediately also look after your child's well-being. If you are well, your child is well. There are even are studies that show that if a parent's coping ability is better, so is the child's coping ability. And because this is so important, we look at this in more detail and look at strategies, how you can build your own well-being, how you can take time and priority for yourself in the next video.